back to Light and Life Kids. We are on week six. Can you believe it? This is our last session of learning about the armour of God. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been epic, but we are not finished there. We are starting a brand new series next week called Into the World. And it's going to be amazing. So check that out. But first... Let's have a look at our programme for today and start off with some worship. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it. And we're going to try and move them and see who wins, basically. Can oh, I have yeah. a straw, please? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Have we got everything we need? Yeah. Have, have you got everything that you need? <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, I win them! I 
Why did you put iron? No, 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 I, I got them all across <laughs> faster, <laughs> but I'll get them inside the stuff. I can't breathe. Make sure you take bre breaks and breathe during that. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> New challenge. Hello everybody, it's Minecraft James. Yes, we are back here again in the world of Minecraft for yet another teaching about the armor of God. So excited. We hope that you've enjoyed this series so far. And we have been collecting all the different armor pieces, as you can see just there behind me as well. And today I'm gonna to put it all on. Yes, I'm gonna put it all on and it's gonna be awesome. Well. We need to know what it is that we're looking at today. We're going to be looking at the sword of the spirit. But the first thing we need, we need to do is we need to put on the full armor of God. So let's begin. Let's have a look, see if we can figure out how to lift this off this little mannequin there. There we go. The breastplate of righteousness. The Helmet of Salvation. Let's see if we can grab my pants. Nope, nope, not the pants. The Shoes of the Gospel of Peace. And, well, you know, we're stretching it a bit because it's Minecraft. It's a bit, bit of a metaphor. It's not the, uh, the pants of truth, it's the belt of truth. Buckled firmly around my waist to keep my pants from falling down as well. That would be embarrassing. And we are looking today at the Sword of the Spirit. Now, I've got a sword. I've got a, a nice shiny gold one. But I have something in this chest which is very exciting. Now, obviously, it's Minecraft, so it's not exactly what we're looking at. But for the purposes here, inside this chest, I have the Sword of the Spirit. Let's have a look. There it is. Well, it's a, you know, it's a diamond sword, obviously. It's the best sword in the game. It's pretty good. Unless it was an enchanted sword. But our sword is the sword of the spirit. And what is the sword of the spirit? The sword of the spirit, as it says in Ephesians chapter 6, is the word of God. And so what is the word of God? Well, the word of God is the Bible. It's like God has spoken to us through the written words of the Bible, which means that these words are so powerful and it says that they are sharper than any two-edged sword. And because of that, it means that we can do battle, spiritual battle, so that when we use God's word, we can bring hope and positivity and support in all the different areas we need. But before we explore that a little bit further, we are playing Minecraft, so let's take this sword and see what it will do. Ha! Ah, it'll do that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Oh, that's a door. And obviously, a sword, it is an offensive weapon, but we're not talking about doing offensive things to people in the physical. You know, our battle, it's not against flesh and blood, as it says in Ephesians chapter 6 but against the rulers, the dark principalities of this world. And you see, we've got to use that sword to defend those that we love and we care for. You see, like, like these pigs, and why are there cats in there? Oh, not too sure. But you see, the word of God allows us to take strength and encouragement so that when we come across things in life that we're not sure about, like, like the sheep, oh, I wonder if this is the lost sheep. Jesus talks about the lost sheep. 
No, it's licking my leg, it tickles. So it means when we learn the word of God, when we commit it to our memory, like the memory verse in this series, it means that it can help us in everyday life, like having conversations with this chap here. You know, he might say something that might upset you, or he might say something that confuses you. But when we learn the word of God, we learn the principles, the wisdom, the instruction. So it's not a case of us hitting people with the word of God to tell them off. The word of God helps us to do battle against negative thoughts, against negative situations. It helps us take strength, positivity and courage so that when we go out into the world, we are well equipped and ready to take on the day. big one don't we for the, the sword of the spirit so let's get cutting out a sword yeah. yay so make sure that you round the end so that you don't have a pointy end because that might hurt somebody and we don't want any of that, do we? Okay, so I've got my first bit, and then I need my handle at the top. Okay, so now we've got our sword and our handle. We are going to wrap string around. Okay, so Holly, do you want to hold it there? And then now we are just putting a knot in the back. Aha! Now I have got my sword of the spirit. Watch out! Watch out! Oh no! <laughs> Remember, send in your photos. We'd love to see your craft. Since the weather is absolutely gorgeous at the moment, we're going to use some chalk to write out the memory verse on some um, stones or pavement that you've got round your house. Um, so let's see if we remember it. Are you ready, Layla? No. and in his mighty power. Put on the full armour of God so that you can take your stand. Brilliant. I've nearly run out of chalk now with the pink bit. But have a fun with the chalk and writing out the memory verse. Thank you for joining us for this series called The Armour of God. Remember, that's not it. We've got a brand new series for you next week called Into the World and it's going to be even better. We've got a couple of new things 
just for you. Remember, you can still send in your videos and we can put them in. Um, so have an awesome week and I will catch you next week. Bye. Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 Hey.